Hey, good morning. So today is my last day in Grand Cayman Islands. Yesterday I had such a blast um, with the going swimming with the, um, the stingrays and uh, picking up starfish. And I had some good footage, but the person recorded like with um, my cell phone cover over it, so you di I didn't get the footage. So, uh, but I still had a good time. I have some good pictures. I'll insert insert in the pictures of me holding the stingrays and kissing a stingray. They say that if you kiss a stingray, it's seven years of good luck. So let's see how that goes. Um, so this morning, I just you know I started just talking to God and speaking to God and trying to figure out what way I want to go in life, and I'm very excited about the new journey. You know, one of the things that um, God is sharing with me right now that I was just thinking is when you start a new journey in your life, you don't always start where you want to start at. You know, and I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to do if I wanted to rush back to Fort Lauderdale or take my time where I'm at now um, in Northern Florida. And of course, like God would say, you know, I, in order for me to do the journey, I have to literally walk through the journey which I'm living in. So you don't always start off where you want to, you know, finish. So of course, I want to finish in Fort Lauderdale, but I'm going to have to start off in, of course, Northern Florida. So, you know, it's sometimes hard because you want what you want, but you don't always get there right away. So it's okay. You know, so I'm gonna about to go in here and eat some breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm having for breakfast on my last full day at the island. I'm probably gonna start working on my website. I know, crazy, I'm in the island working on my website. And then I'm gonna go to Blowhole Point a little bit later so you guys can enjoy that with me as well. All right, you guys. Good morning. Good and final morning. Come kind of came in. You know, aren't people supposed to be like very sad that they're leaving? I'm, I'm bittersweet. It was a good time. But, at the same time, I'm not sad, you know why? Because leaving means that there's always a new goal and always a new destination. And so Florida is next. And then I know that I'm doing Bermuda on a cruise in December. And in between then, I don't know what I'm doing. You guys know it's always something. Um, so we're gonna figure it out. I have breakfast from yesterday that I could only eat half of it. So I have a half of the eggs and potatoes, a plantain, that I'm gonna eat before I leave to the airport and whatnot. Oh, so good. Mm. So, I checked into my flight already. I gotta return my rental car. All that good stuff. And my passport all set, everything is all set. I'm ready. I'm excited, you guys. I have two interviews on Friday, tomorrow. So, I can't wait to see Sebastian. <laughs> I love him. I talked to him like the whole time I was here. So, goodness, goodness, goodness. So, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast, and then I'll see you guys when I get back to the States. All right, so I came to the airport early to check in, and when I got to the ticket counter, there's no one there to literally uh, print out my ticket for me, so I have to wait for someone to come to the counter. So even though I'm early, it doesn't mean that they're early. So my flight doesn't leave until 1.15, but I, um, I'm here at like 9.30. Well, around 9.40. So it's like, I have a while wait, but who cares? It is what it is. So I just am gonna sit here, have a call one of my friends. I need to find my charger to my headset because I cannot listen to music on the plane and I need to do that because, unless I sleep, but who knows. <laughs> hey you guys, so it was crazy, but um, so here I am in Grand Cayman still and there was a woman walking by me and so I thought she was like very pretty she had like a little weight on her and she was just a beautiful woman you know nice face nice curves whatever um, 
you guys know I love the plus size community and people who have weight on them so but I thought she was a very pretty woman so there are trails behind her husband or her man whatever and I saw him giving me the side eye which is the look of course you know like I'm not gonna be like oh ooh, your man's looking at me but he was checking me out but it just goes to say that it doesn't matter she was a very beautiful woman you know what I'm saying? But it did not stop him from giving me the side eye. It, you know, it just goes by the same as me. You know, like I've been married and, you know, like it's it, it's one of those things where if a person wants to give someone the side eye or the look or step out, they're going to step out. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing you can control. It doesn't matter how pretty you are, how beautiful you are. That's something within them and their own whatever it is within them that they have going on with them. And it was just crazy because... You know, like, now I see it, and it's very, you know, noticeable to me um, in the society and the world that we live in that, you know, it doesn't matter how beautiful you are or what you have or what material things you possess or, you know, how friendly you are or how kind you are. If someone wants to look or if someone wants to step out, they step out. You know, it's just how life is, and, you know, sometimes it has nothing to do with you or how... Or what you got going on for yourself it's everything within them that makes them look or makes them want to move or step out or do whatever they have to do but me that's so unattractive to me so but i'm gonna go because i've been waiting for these people um to arrive for southwest so that i can get checked in and everything so i guess they're over there now so i am going to do that all right you guys babe with the best guy on earth you guys look at that I'm holding his head in my hand <laughs> oh my gosh so I'm so glad to be back <sighs> it was a long fight customs was forever but I got through everybody keeps back in front of my passport because when I got my passport I was in college and I just look like a whole different person so Can yeah you see your passport? <laughs> hold on I'll show you and look at my with I'm with the best person in the whole world Look at that. Do you guys remember that time that me and Sebastian, Sebastian was like tickling me down the road and I freaking was like crying, laughing, like we're gonna die. We're gonna die. What are you talking about? We went to Cracker Barrel and you freaking, you were tickling the life mean? out of me. What do you mean? You don't remember? Oh my God, oh my God. I thought we were gonna eat the back of the car. Oh my God, oh my God. Come the fuck down. <laughs> My anxiety is so bad. There's traffic. All right, guys. So I'm leaving for a while. Your brakes are not working. We're gonna get <gasps> back in this car. Oh my god! That's some fake shit. <laughs> Stop it. There's traffic. But yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna go though. But I'm back to sunny Florida. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I can't.